Right, well here I am on the bike and I'm just about to start to do a bit of a, t a road test with the, uh, the 16 tooth sprocket now installed and uh, I'll talk you through what perceivable difference I notice. So I'm going to pull away and let's see what it feels like in first gear. Feels like I got a little bit more pull in first gear. Then I was I didn't have to change up so quickly. That's second gear. I'm at 35 miles an hour. In third gear. It's quite comfortable in third gear. And fourth. And just yeah, it's it's very linear, nice, smooth. Uh, range now. Feels like I've got. Um, it's pulling nicely through each gear. So we're, we're in, we're in fourth. Very comfortable. It seems to be a little bit more in each gear before you start to labour the engine. So back into third. Easy up to forty. Yeah, you know, there I am. Look, lovely and steady. Uh, it's like I'm going to hit some traffic in a second. What I want to do is go down the dual carriageway in a moment. See how that feels. But it's definitely. That's lovely and smooth in first. There's a little bit more in first before you need to think about changing to second. We're in that second gear. Nice linear. Not laboured. Third. Again, it's a nice linear power still. Not laboured. see is what it's like when we get up into fifth gear and we start to get uh, we're, we're at the sort of top of its rev range <laughs> and we've got 70 mile an hour speed limit on the uh, on the road I'm going to turn on to shortly so we can have a we can gauge from that definitely more in first gear Definitely a bit more before you start to require changing up. So here we go. Second. Into fourth. Comfortably in fourth. Mile now, still in fourth, fifth. That's lovely. That's definitely better. And then easily sitting at seventy. Not laboured at all. In fifth gear. Very, very comfortable. What's that? 6,000 revs? No, four and a half, just under 5,000 revs at 70 miles an hour. That's lovely. There's definitely a, a little bit more linear 
feel through the uh, through the gears. Very comfortable. Now what I'm going to go is go back and go up uh, an incline shortly so we'll have a look how it feels on an incline. I've, I've, I seem to be feel like I can stay in fourth gear a little bit longer and therefore fifth feels more like an overdrive if that makes sense fourth gear feels more usable before we needing to change off and we'll go back second gear third just lovely 50 mile an hour in third gear is just it's nothing it's not laboured at all so what we'll do when I come off the island hopefully if I can is we'll do a uh, Almost pretty much just as we come on to the 70 mile an hour road again in a second. Let's have a look where we are. So we're in fourth gear, yep, stropper down third, we're going down to second. Come off here, we'll do, we'll accelerate away. Hopefully, that'll give you a bit of room. So, there we go. Up to 40 in second, easy. 50 in third, easy. Sixty in fourth, 65. Still in fourth, and there's your overdrive. 70. Still, still pulling nicely. That's hitting, that's getting you to 70 very easily and, and holding you there quite comfortably. It's definitely got more to give. You know, what am I sat at? 5,000 revs? 5,000 revs, 70 miles an hour. Beautiful. And then accelerating. It's there. So I'm just going to try up uh, the incline in a second. See how we uh, see how we get on the incline, and then I'll uh, give me final thoughts. So we're on an incline. So we get away from the lights. 25 mile an hour, 5,000 revs. 40 mile an hour, 5,500 revs. S 60 miles an hour. Here we go into this national. Fourth gear still. And then over that feels like a perfect overdrive. Lovely. Yeah. So to sum up, what do I think? Has it made an improvement? Has the 16 tooth sprocket made an improvement? Uh, personal opinion, 
yes it has. Is it a, a an improvement that would justify uh, the cost and the effort? Yes, I think it is. It's made what to me is a great bike just that little bit better. Um, the best way I can find to describe it is you've given it slightly longer legs. If it was a, a say a um, a runner and uh, it's the difference between a runner with say 30 inch inside legs and a runner with I don't know a 34 inch inside leg or a 32 it can it covers that distance with slightly less effort if that makes sense and that you can you can feel that uh, that more you know that it's taking less effort to do it not necessarily getting there any any quicker but it's taking less effort to do it and that's how it feels through the gears it's a uh, it's got longer legs than it used to have so therefore it, it's running is a little bit easier um, so is it a mod worth doing I think it is I think uh, it's just added an extra um, it's made the bike just slightly better it's never going to make a massive difference but you can't do with a with a 350cc engine but has it made it better has it made it a, a more uh, fun bike to ride maybe slightly yeah it's all of course it's all going to be you know based on opinion and perception but to me it feels nicer fifth gear feels much more like an overdrive gear now um, so I'd say it's a good it's a good mod and would I recommend doing it yes I would uh, I'm very happy with that very happy with it so there you go hopefully I've uh, sort of uh, been able to relay to you in words and a little bit of uh, visually the uh, the effects the uh, the upgrades had and I hope you found it useful um, and if you did find it useful um, please uh, consider subscribing uh, and leaving a like that would be a uh, thumbs up that would be very much appreciated uh, and I would love to have you subscribed it's, um, that would be marvellous so uh, on that note I'll, uh, I wish you all well take care of yourselves see you all again soon for another video and to ride with you.